Hi everyone and welcome back. In this video we are going to talk about recursion, JavaScript recursion or you can call it as a recursive function. A function which is calling itself again and again till the base condition is reached. Okay, A function can't keep calling itself again and again. If it happens then there will be a stack overflow, right? A function keeps calling itself then we have a limited capacity of a stack right uh, what will happen when you are calling an external function javascript or any v8 engine or any programming language create a stack okay uh, these functions get stack on top of one another till the base condition is reached and once the base condition is reached it start popping the returned value from these functions okay for that i will take an example of fibonacci so fibonacci of 5 is what is the Fibonacci of any number? n minus 1, n minus 2. Okay. Fibonacci 4 and Fibonacci 3. We already know the base condition of Fibonacci 0 is 1. Fibonacci 0 is 0 and Fibonacci 1 is 1. So we keep this start dividing it. Fibonacci of 4, Fibonacci of 3. So 4 will be the sum of 3 and 2. Fibonacci of 3 is 2 and 1, right? Similarly, Fibonacci of 2 is 1 and 0. And we already know the value of Fibonacci 1. So this is the base condition now achieved. So while calling itself again and again, it is putting these function calls on top of stack. And once the base condition is achieved, it will start popping up the values and values start returning from the functions. So you will get the final value. So there are many use case of uh, recursion. Most of the problems can be solved with the help of recursion where a function keeps calling itself until a one particular base condition is reached like factorial like uh, uh, you can call simple example is a Fibonacci right so we can we can do lot of things like divide and conquer methods can be achieved with the Fibonacci uh, can be achieved with this JavaScript function recursion okay so if you talk about simple example what is a what is a base condition here you 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 will be stopping when you are getting number less than zero you are not going to call yourself again and you will just return nothing. So it is a stopping of the, the recursion function call. Otherwise, what you need to do, you call yourself again by passing n minus 1, right? So it is just doing nothing but a, a simple basic example of recursion, right? Here, if number is not less than 0, it will keep calling until number is not less than 0, okay? Simple example is Fibonacci number. So we already know if n is less than 1, if n is 0 or 1, then it will return, for 0 it will return 0, for 1 it will return 1, that is true, Fibonacci of 1 is 1, Fibonacci of 0 is 0. So until this base condition is not match, it will keep calling these function itself, it will keep calling itself by passing the different argument like n minus 1, n minus 2. Similarly, there is a Pascal triangle, uh, another just a basic example. Here it is just print, printing the values, right? If column is 0 and row is 0, if column is 0, just print 1, okay? And if row is 0, then print 0. So if you just see this Pascal triangle, we are running a loop. If this condition is not matching up, then you will just pass row minus 1 and column or row minus 1, column minus 1, okay? This is just to structure this particular, to build this particular structure. Okay, so these are actually some different examples of JavaScript recursions. Most of the problems can be solved with recursions. We always will have some base condition. Till, till that base condition, we will keep calling ourselves. The function will keep calling itself and it will keep building a stack. You can't keep calling infinitely. Your system will throw error in that particular case. So till that base condition is reached, like factorial of 100, 1000, it will keep calling itself until your uh, because you will keep calling yourself and reducing the count to minus 1. Factorial of 100 is factorial of 99. Then factorial of 99 is 100 multiplied 90, uh, multiply by 99 multiply by factorial of 98. Something like this. Okay. So recursion is going to help us a lot while writing the actual algorithm implementation or pseudocode implementation in JavaScript. 